Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry, and this channel is about fashion and styling and doing whatever it takes, ladies, to hold on to our pretty whatever, whatever it takes, right? And to my returning subscribers, welcome back. I love you. I thank you. I appreciate you. All right. Hello, everybody. Another week, and it is November, <laughs> very much November. Time has changed, and the, today we're kind of warm in St. Louis. It was cold those other few days, but we're getting a little balmy touch. So let's get right started. On my lips, I have a new lip color for you. It's a Chanel. It's one of the Le Duos where it's that non-resistant, non-transferable, and I know it's bright. And I felt like doing a little bright pink, and this color's just called Shocking Pink Number. 59. I'll show you. You've seen them before. It comes in this little case like this. The colors on this end and the clear gloss is here and you put it on and this dries down to like a tacky feel and then you put the gloss over it and it's shiny and it lasts. It doesn't transfer on a glass, anything. Excuse me. It's, it's a beautiful pink though, right? It's more like a summer pink, but I recently picked this up at Nordstrom's and uh, when I got the other one I think I showed you last week so I picked this one up I just wanted something bright and pretty to put on and I like this on my nails I did it again I did one more try with the Sistico system this is the white if you look up close it's not very pretty but it's it's and I did this maybe last Tuesday so it has stayed on really good and it's it, it is a learning curve with it so you just have to keep trying and I'm gonna keep trying and it was a little easier to take it off this time I, I you really got to file this gloss off it seems like it's simple and all that but it's a little bit of work involved but it's in everything in life it's gonna be a little bit of work doing these videos for you each week is a lot of work but it's you put the work in and you get the results and I get to spend time with you and talk about things and I'm telling you now today grab your beverage of choice because this one's going to be a little long I got a lot of things to go over and just you know we're gonna have fun but first first things first this part of the video is in collaboration with my favorite favorite purses I love Teddy Blake you know ladies let me, let me, let me, let me get my box. Ah, Teddy Blake. Teddy Blake handbags. Beautiful, beautiful handbags. Based out of New York, but the bags are made in Italy. Ah, so this is my newest, newest girl. Teddy Blake sent this to me, and I am going to show it to you. I picked it out. I, I got to, you know, pick a purse of my choice, which they usually do when they collaborate with you, which is so wonderful. They let you pick the purse that you want to talk about. So I picked this one. She's small. Yes, you can tell. She's of the smaller size. But I love the boxes. I used boxes for so many things because the purses are just too beautiful to keep in the box. But it's a good storage container. And there is the Teddy Blake New York designer handbags made in Italy and luxury leather. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. <laughs> How appropriate for the Deborah Berry channel. So here she is. There's the box. There's the bag. There's the box. You know. How you been, lady? You know we like to get new things. You know Teddy has her all in the little drawstring bag. And she's tiny, but she's mighty. I picked this out. Look at her. Look at that. Look at that color. It's like caramel and a little bit of deeper brown. Gold hardware. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just gorgeous. And I have forgotten the name of my bag. I meant to... Uh, anyway, let me show you her. She's got the clasp. I will list the name of her across the screen for you. Open, open. Which I know you've seen I've, I'm others in the past, but here it is. Let me get all this out for you. She's stuffed. Of course, she comes with a crossbody strap. And the inside 
It's just like that. Nice with a zipper. I'm sorry, with a slit pocket inside. And just the beauty, the color of it all. Just the color is just so precious. And you know the Teddy Black handbags. You're going to get quality handbags crafted in Italy. Luxury handbags. The luxury handbags that are made in Italy. Let's do this, do this, do this. And I know if you've been with my channel, you know that I, I have a Teddy Blake handbag collection going on here. I don't know what I'm doing here. I was going to put this strap on for you. I'll do it off camera. So I want to talk to you about Teddy Blake. Right now, you can get 90% off. Teddy Blake has a great sale going on. It's like early Black Friday sale, pre-Black pre Friday sale, up to 90% off the handbags. 90%. And you can use my code, and I will put it across the screen, uh, and you will get $30 off, an additional $30 off. After getting 95% off with the sale, and you can get an additional $30 off using my code. Let me show you. To show you that I have this bag already in powder blue, this was one of my early ones I got. You know, she has the feet. Mm -mm -mm. Same thing, opens the same way, and there's the crossbody on there. And this is a perfect size. I have carried this out with my husband. We've gone places and to church. The phone fits in there, keys, makeup. Lots of things fit in there. I don't carry a wallet when I carry my small purses. I'll carry a little card carrier, but a small wallet will fit in here. And I also have this one in a larger size, which these come. This is the different style, but basically, can you tell I'm a sucker for the Kelly bag knockoffs or the Kelly bag, pay, pay homage to the Kelly bags. But I just love this shape of a bag because this shape of a bag is timeless and classic. And will never go out of style and I love this I love this texture for the this season and to have that color she's so cute so if you want to get Teddy back Teddy Blake be sure to use my code check down below and I am going to show her today with some of the fashions that I'm going to show you today I'll use I'll style her in a couple of my looks with with like what I have on now. So it's just a good golden, golden color. I don't know. I just love the color. So I want you to check out Teddy Blake. Be sure to uh, check out their stuff. There's so many bags. There's so many styles. There's something for everyone. I don't care. You know, if you don't even want the Kelly bag shape, there are other bags. There are clutches. And she even has some new ones with the, the shearling. Oh, you just got to go there. Go to the Teddy Blake site, check it out, and make your purchase and use my code and save an extra $30 along with the sale that they have right now. So, all right, ladies, let's get to the topic of the day. Just like that. But I got a few things to go over before I get to the topic of the day, which is the topic of the day, if you hadn't noticed from the thumbnail, is all about cashmere sweaters cashmere cashmere sweaters do you know i did not own a cashmere sweater i don't know that i've ever owned a cashmere sweater i think i shied away from it thinking oh they're too expensive you got to dry clean this they get malls you know all those negatives and i just never did and i don't know i was in talbot's of all places when i was uh shopping a couple of weeks ago and i saw some they had and beautiful and I said, I need to get a cashmere sweater. I don't have a cashmere sweater. So I purchased one. And then I got to thinking, I could do a video on cashmere sweaters. I need to do a video on cashmere sweaters. So I, I ordered a few cashmere sweaters. All together, I think I got six. I'm going to show you today. So that's what's going to take some time. But I wanted to go over. The, I, I looked up how to care for cashmere and the Martha Stewart had something that says to how, to, how you wash them. Even though they say dry clean, you can hand wash them in some wool light, something very delicate. And you, you don't wring them, you roll them in the towel, which I learned that years ago for doing even my cotton sweaters. You roll it in the towel, ladies. I hope you've done, done, done that before. 
I think I've done, done, done that before. But you roll it in the towel and then you kind of lay it flat or I hang stuff over something, over a hanger with a towel to dry. And I thought, maybe it won't be so bad because I hate dry cleaning. I hate something that has to be dry cleaning and it gets that old dry cleaning fluid smell. I just don't care for it. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to talk about the care of this. Oh, I talked about the care of the sweaters. I just thought I forgot one thing to show you. One more thing to show you before I get to the sweater stuff. I got a new pair of shoes. I know, I know, I know. But I've been looking for a basic pair of black pumps. Just a nice pair of black pumps. And all the ones I really like, the heel is three and a half or three and an eighth. Or, you know, three. I try to stay under the three. If I can get two and seven eighths even. So I found this pair, not real expensive, and Klein. I think I got them from Macy's. Yeah, Macy's. I ordered them from Macy's. So I wanted to, uh, I'm going to use, because I'm going to feature these today with the fashions, but look at her. Isn't she cute? Look at that. Patent leather, nice little buckle detail. Has this extra bottom with this piece on the bottom. You know, grip and a little bit like a little platform piece. All the accoutrements of a comfortable shoe. Let me show you. On the inside, it has that extra padding and all this stitching. And I ordered an eight and a half. It's called the Ancline. It's the Flex. So, not the most comfortable, but not uncomfortable. And I'm thinking maybe it'll do something as I wear it, which I try to steer clear of that. You know, going to those days where you say, well, oh, I just got to break it in. I don't do that anymore. I've learned that those shoes that you call yourself breaking in, break you down. <laughs> and you want to throw them against the wall when you wear them a few times. So, but she's pretty comfortable and I'm going to feature her today. Her and her mate today in the video. So that's why I, I got ahead of myself. So we do have a new pair of shoes, good price, good comfortable shoe if you want. I think it comes in suede and other things other colors and other textures of regular leather you know so to speak but you might want to check these out i will list them below and the heel's not too bad it's no higher than my vince camuto pump that i have so i wanted to be sure to get that in now sorry i you know sometimes people need a, a director around to guide them you know nope that's not what's next do this next but it's just me. It's just me and you. And you're here with me in my closet, so to speak. And that's the way it goes. That's how ladies will. We'll jump. Oh, no, wait. Let me show you this. I forgot to show you. You know you know how we do. That's how we do. Getting back to um, the sweaters. I want to show you something that I found. And, and reading up on cashmere and how to take care of it. I want to show you something that I ordered from Amazon that I think you're going to love. Give me a second. Let me get them. Okay, I'm back. You would think I'd be more organized. But anyway, and but I did but and anyway in one, one sentence. <laughs> Please forgive me. I was searching on Amazon about how, how to care for you, you know, about how to store. And I had hung all these sweaters up and I read somewhere it said, whatever you do, don't hang them up because they will get that shape in the shoulders and it's hard to get out. Which I have that in a lot of my chitin sweaters, but the chitin just stretches over your arm and you can kind of get away with it. But have you ever seen, I've seen people on television, like, oh, they didn't get that out their sweater. And it just, no matter what you do, if you're going to, if you're going to put it under a jacket, okay. But no matter what you do, the little things will poke out. So we don't want to do that. Anyway, I wanted to go, I went to Amazon to find out how to store them. And I ordered, it came two in a pack. Came like this. Let me show you. It's this. It's a zipper container. It zips up. Plastic on top. All canvas. I had five sweaters in here. I took one out because I put this one on. Four cashmere sweaters are in here right now. Folded up nicely. And this is what, how it comes. I want to show you. You get two in there. Even if you're just going to store anything. Sweaters. Under the bed or something. Or on a shelf. This little bag comes like this. It zips. You unzip it, 
all the way around. Unzips all the way around. And another thing I learned when researching on how to care for my sweaters was to store them with cedar blocks. I ordered a box of these from Amazon and they recommend it with, when you order that. But there's a little, there's a little, it's a box of cedar blocks. You can stick them in your closet, you can stick them in the pocket of something. It's fresh smell to keep the moths away, which I see a lot of moths now. I haven't in years, but I know as soon as I get this cashmere stuff, it probably will happen, right? But this this little gadget here has these little slots. You can see that. And you're supposed to put the blocks on the side. You just go around and stick the blocks in there. Like that, like so, like that. And then I put them all the way around and put your sweaters in. And that will keep the moths and the little urchins away. We shall see. Because after paying for this cashmere, I don't want any moth holes. And I can remember years ago getting moth holes in some of my wool stuff, and you hated it. It's like, you be right there. And you're stitching. Hey, tell me you didn't wear your sweaters with those stitching. You did your own little hand stitch. <laughs> And got got to wearing it, right? <laughs> I know I did. And probably got some downstairs with stuff over still like that on that. And another thing I I found, I didn't know if this was going to be itchy to me. This one that I have on, I got from Nordstrom, and it's the luxury cashmere, or whatever that means. And so far, I'm not itchy. I'm not uncomfortable. It's very soft. And you know, the one thing I do remember about cashmere is it, it will peel. P-I-L-L, -L, I think that's how you spell it. Get those little balls. I call them chicka balls. Chick, 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 chicka balls. Will get on your sweater. So I ordered this from Amazon. Yeah, I'm just all over the place. It's a cat for cashmere. It's a brush for your cashmere sweaters. And I was going to get that little machine, the little battery operated or you charge the machine you know that kind of supposed to comb over and I read somewhere that can sometimes take the, the fiber that it shouldn't take and it could mess up your sweater so I got this little brush let me show it to you oh yeah I was all over the place on Amazon buying stuff right it's a little brush wow it's really rough I guess and it'll ooh, I guess it will work and take that and look at that if you can see that, it already pulled some, so I don't want to mess up the sweater. I want to save it for the peels because I'm sure they're going to come. But nice. Not too large. And it says cashmere on there. I don't know what that little thing on the back means. But I will list all of this below. Because if you're going to invest in a cashmere sweater, you need to invest on taking care of it, right? So that you can wear it many years because my cotton sweaters I wear for years and years and years and I expect to get some mileage out of this these cashmere sweaters like I do my cotton sweaters so but I'll show you this I'll show you the inside of here but I don't want to show you too much because I want you to be surprised with what, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna put on because you're gonna be surprised you're gonna be surprised but that's the inside you can see I got a gray sweater there and the blocks are in there. It's hard to show your inside without revealing what's up next. So, if you think you want to get into cashmere, you know, just get you some wool light. That's what I use. I had that in the house already. I'm up here. That's good enough for me. Wool light has always worked for me. You want to care for them. You want to wash them. And, and I will let you know when I do wash these over the time but I was reading too where it says don't try to wash them every time you wear them hang them up let them air and not hang them up you know let them air dry air out and just fresh them up and that's I don't wash my sweaters after every wear anyway because unless you know something gets on it and I'm, I'm wearing deodorant and I'm cleaning my body so I'm, I'm cool I can get two or three wears out of something and usually I have it on for a few hours at church or a few hours at a function and I'm coming home. I'm not in it like at work 8, 9, 10, 12 hours. So you can get a couple of wares out of your merchandise. So let's get started. Now I think I covered everything. Oh, one more thing I want to show you. <laughs> I am all over the place. Excuse me. Under these sweaters I thought, well you want to wear some under them. And I was watching a YouTuber 
and you know how you, we, we all learn from our fellow YouTubers. And she was showing what she wears under her sweaters. And I thought, I got some of those. But she got them from Amazon. I have some, and I know ladies, these little tank tops, just a little skinny strap tank tops. I ordered from Amazon, I ordered two packs. This one came with a navy, a black one, a white one, and a red one. Look at there. I will list this because these, I was paying, that Banana has them for $20. And I would wait for them to go on sale and maybe get one for $10 or something. This was very, I, I can't remember what it cost, but I mean, you got four in here. But let me show you, I also ordered a, a set. They had this, I got the light gray, I got the charcoal gray, I got another white, and I got another black. So any colors you want to pick to go on, this just feels wonderful under the sweater and just, you know, just feels, it's a nice layer. You can wear it under your blouses and tops and they're easy to rinse out and wash, throw in the washing machine or, you know, soak them in the wool light. But I want to show you those. So this, I got the Amazon stuff. We got the uh, cashmere sweaters. And we got to get dressed and do some fashions, you know, and uh, show you how we're going to style these sweaters. You know, there are five sweaters, so it's going to be a little bit of a, a and I'm not going to go too elaborate. I'm going to just give you ideas of how to wear your cashmere sweater, because this one right here could be worn with so many things. And I'm starting off with my neutral, so I'm going to start off nice and mild, but you know the finale. Oh my goodness, the finale. You're going to love it. So I'll be right back, ladies. It's all about the browns and the tans and the gold jewelry, right, ladies? I added Teddy with this just to break up all of this. She's just so cute with this. I mean, come on. You've got Teddy on. You've got your... Baggy, you know, you remember these pants? They're from Banana Republic. I got them a couple of, about a month ago or so. Nice, big, loose. And this sweater from uh, Nordstrom's, it's cashmere. It's, it's oversized. And you know, I'll do oversized, I'll do regular size. There we go. <laughs> and I just, let's cover everything. Let's start from the top. I know you notice these earrings. The elephant in the room are these big Bottega dupes. You know, I had put them in the box and swore I wasn't going to wear them anymore. But today I thought, let's have some fun with them. They're just overpowering to me, to my face. I don't know what you think, ladies, but I think they're a bit much for this little face. But I, I got them, so I'm wearing them. Of course, got the little Michael Kors. There are times I wish I had that big one now. Those of you who wanted me to keep it, I, I could have probably kept it, right? But this is the sweater, V-neck. It's very long, very oversized. You see, I can pull it all the way down here. It'll be a great one over something and belt it. You know what I think about belting something. Yes! And these are just some pleated baggy pants. And I have on my Circus Pointed Toe Love So Loafers, Sam Edelman, Circus by Sam Edelman. You've seen these before too, I'll list them. They still have them. So comfortable, so comfortable. And look number one, <laughs> cashmere in a neutral color, because you know I'm the neutral gal, but you are gonna be surprised. I am gonna surprise you today. I am gonna surprise you today. All right, my fashion, my style, my choice. And I wanna just give a shout out to Elaine Naylor Lee. I was, I follow her on Instagram. I'm gonna put her across, put, the, put this up her. She said, she did, a, I had a photo on Facebook and she said, my style, my runway. So ladies, this is my style and this is my runway. <laughs> so your life is your runway, your style, your runway. Remember that, take over your runway. You're in charge of your runway. So I'm gonna put the next look on for you and we're gonna wrap ourselves in cozy cashmere. It feels so good, it does feel good. I can see how people could just fall in love with it, get a cashmere sweater. And if you just added one a year to your collection of cashmere, it's just great. And some are like two and three hundred dollars. And I will list the price of all of these. I'm gonna list all of them for you. Just wait for a sale at Macy's. That's what I did, 30% off or something. Yeah, 
get this? So a banana has their, has their sale, but all the cashmere is excluded. What's up with that? Banana is one of time. We want a deal, right? So I'll be back with the next look for you. I call this a mixture of dressy casual. The pants are dressy with the tuxedo stripe, my Ralph Lauren tuxedo stripe pants. I have on silver jewelry, silver accessories. Okay, the Kate Spade bag. This is my tweed bag from last year by Kate Spade. And because the chain has a silver tone to it, it's golden, but it looks a little silver. I don't, you know, it's. I don't mind mixing metals, but sometimes the gold with this just wasn't going to work for me. So this looks silver and it looks gold. It's a nice little tweed bag. They have newer ones this year. You need to check out because you know I love my tweed fabric bags. But let's put her there. She's top heavy. Uh, this belt is from my Aunt Jean who passed away this year. I love it. It's, it's a metal and it's silver. Look at that belt. It is luscious. It is so, she did like nothing but the finer things. So that goes well. An old lariat, silver, silver earrings, silver cuffs, my old Calvin Klein. I think they're Calvin Klein. Uh, no, Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole. Silver cuffs from ages ago, probably 15 years ago. And these are the Anne Klein pumps I showed you. Get a look at them. And they work. They just black basic pump as pumps go. But they work to give it a little dressier look. You check those out, ladies. They're not bad. They're not too uncomfortable and they're not too comfortable. Oops, my earring just fell off. Okay. But getting on with the video, <laughs> I hope you like the look. We're going to come up with another look. And again, it's this cashmere gray simple sweater. This is a luxury cashmere from uh, Macy's. Really nice. I think I ordered a couple of these. Just comp they're just so cozy and nice. And I have on one of those tank tops under here. I have the black one on to wear it like that. But to show you, this one is a fitted, not oversized like the silver one. Not oversized, and you can do a lot of things with it as far as pulling it out or having it right here. Great for tucking in. And that's the one good thing about a cashmere sweater. They're lightweight. They're not bulky. And, uh, you know, you can put a jacket on over this. You can put it, tuck it in your pants and not feel like you got this whole big extra. Because we don't want no extra. I know I don't. <laughs> so, ladies, what do you think of this? My fashion. My style. Hey, my runway. So... I'm going to get this earring together, put on the next look for you, and uh, I'll be right back. Don't go away. You know, there's always a spot in my wardrobe for black. Always. Look at this. This is this sweater's from Dillard's. It's an Antonio Milani. Beautiful, beautiful black cashmere. Has little splits on the side. You see that? Little splits right there. Gorgeous. It just feels, it feels more luxurious than the ones I just showed you from uh, Macy's. And it costs a little more, but Antonio Milani, you know, what can I say? So I just thought I'd break all this black with my Teddy Blake brown because of the gold accessories. So that kind of breaks that if you don't want to just always do all black on black, which you know I will do it. And I still have on the Anne Klein pumps. They're kind of cool. You know, I got skinny little ankles, but every now and then I'll wear them out. But it's a nice little pump. Of course, the Chico's faux leather pleated skirt. I wish they'd do this again this year. This was just a great find. But if you can find you a faux leather pleated skirt, jump on it. And I, I love that it's nice and long. But I really love this sweater. I wanted you to look at this look. I want you to get the details on it. It's gorgeous. Cashmere. Beautiful, black, cozy, comfortable cashmere. Expensive, but we're worth it, right? Nothing is too good for us. Things are almost just good enough, right? My fashion, my style, my age, my choice for my runway. <laughs> so ladies, we got two more looks, two more to do. And I want you to, to just get ready. 
because now I'm going to break out in color that you have never seen Deborah Berry in, okay? I think it's two more. Anyway, uh, I'll be right back with the next look, and I want to thank you for hanging around. I'm sure this video is get long, but I'm having a good time trying to come up with how to show you ways to wear your cashmere sweater. You can wear it any way you want, but I think this one. You got a holiday party, put on black skirt, black sweater, throw some pearls on with it. Hey, you're set. You know, you can even wear it with some pants, or wear it with, with winter white. But I love it with this look. Just, she's you know, kind of conservative, but kind of party girl. <laughs> she's ready. She understood the assignment, right? So, I'll be right back with the next look. After all black, comes all red. It's only, it's only natural, right? In my world. This is a red cashmere sweater. I think this one's from Macy's. And I have to tell you, I have to be up front and honest with you, it is a little scratchy, itchy around my neck. But the longer I've had it on, I've gotten used to it. And I think if, if it was a chilly day, I, it would feel good. You know how some sweaters feel good if it's cold, you know? But I'm telling you, it's not as, I don't feel it here, but it's nice. It's a red turtleneck. I only got one turtleneck in the group. I thought, I didn't know. So I can tell that it's there in a way. It's, I, I've gotten more adjusted the longer it's been on, just to be open and honest with you. And this time I just, it's the same thing, pleated skirt, same Tory belt. If you don't have this belt in your wardrobe, ladies, you're missing out. They're pricey, yes but you get so much use. It goes good with your jeans. It goes in other belt loops. And this is the wider one. There's one that's a little narrow, but this one, and you know, and this one's brown on the other side. If I wanted to wear the brown, I've never worn the brown. I always wear the black. It's old Ann Taylor pleated skirt I've had. And of course, Karen Millen necklace. Just, I just put some stud earrings on this time, just simple stud. I pulled out um, Tori, and then I pulled out my Teddy Blake Red. I mean, if you want to just do red on red, sometimes it's so much fun to do all one color red. You know, I could have put a gold belt on and, and some red boots. Sharon Asia's Restyle, and you have those fabulous new red boots. Mm. So, but... We're going to do this. I got black boots. I just grabbed these and put them on. You've seen these black boots. I had them on, I think, last week. But it's a great look. You can go with the black. <laughs> you can go with the red. I even, for those of you who have been with me, I looked at the Balmain belt. You know my big red Balmain belt with the B? But it was an orangey red. Next to all of this, such a blue red. It was too orangey. Even though this looks a little orangey next to this, it still got more blue in it than that belt. Because you know I would have rocked that red belt. I still I would have done it, you know. But I just I love this look. I love putting the looks together for you. And I do I have two more actually. So refill your cups, glass, bottle, whatever. We're still going on here at the Deborah Berry Channel. We are I got the two from Talbots to show you. They're both V-necks, but they're in colors that you've never seen Deborah Berry in. You've seen me in my neutrals. You've seen me in black, white, you know, and all of that. And color every now and then. So just get ready because it's going to be some color. You go, is that Deborah Berry? <laughs> so I'm going to style those some kind of way for you. And the finale, I'm really going to style that up for you. I love you. Thank you. I, you know I'm here every Thursday. And I will be back next Thursday because we're going to keep on keeping on. And I, if you haven't subscribed, take a moment now. Give it a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, share. Tell all your friends. <laughs> Come see Deborah Berry mess around in her closet. So I'll be right back with the next one. Okay. This time, ladies, I just added a sweater to my corduroy pantsuit from Banana. You remember this brown corduroy? Very casual pantsuit. I pulled out the chocolate coach. My, my, my heart loves this bag. I uh, just wanted to show you. This is the one from Talbots. Look at the color. Look at that color. It's blue. It's blue. It's blue. It's blue. It's not very, very Deborah. Deborah. 
So, okay, let me show you. It's a beautiful blue. Look at that color. That color, and I got both of these, the two that I want to show you in, from Talbot's in an extra small because sometimes things at Talbot's run big on me. So this is true to size, small, extra small. So if you were a small, you can get an extra small. I think if I got any more, I would get the small just to have a little more loose play in it, but it's perfect. It goes perfect with this chocolate brown. Put it together, you got a look, and I just kept, I just put back on my little circus loafers with the tassel in the, you know, because these pants are so long and this works with these, and I, you know, because they really, really are long. Right? But I love this blue, this blue, I love the neckline. When I put it on, the blue made me feel happy. And now I know what Sharon and Ageless Restyling means when she said, but that makes me happy. When some things you put on, they make you happy. This blue, robin's egg blue, whatever color blue it is, just makes me happy, happy, happy. And it feels pretty good. But I'm telling you, out of all the sweaters I've tried on today, I've shown you that black one, crew neck from Dillard's by Antonio Milani, by far the smoothest. This, this just non-itchy, the texture, everything. It just, it's just gorgeous. It just it feels more high-end than all of these. That's, all, that's what I'm saying. So, you want to get the best. That's the one, I think. I, I'm sure there are others, but back to this, right? All right, finale is coming up. We're going to put on one more. It's made just like this, so I'm already knowing I'm going to love the neckline. I love this neckline. Ooh, I think I'm going to get it in a, a bigger size, get me some larger ones. Even a, um, a medium would be good. I can get an oversized one, get it in a medium and wear it oversized with a blouse under it or something. But this, you just wear just like this, just like this. And mind you, under all of these, I had on the little tank tops that I showed you from uh, Amazon, the little tank tops. So I had a black one on under here. So they're really comfortable under there. It gives you another layer and it'll be classic, simple, and pretty on the inside. So I'll be out back with the finale. Don't go anywhere. We're almost done. Almost done. I'll be right back. Ladies, 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 it's the color, right? Look at this color. Do you call this black purple, fuchsia? Uh, what's that other color? Lavender. It's in the lavender family. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. This color was laying, they had the sweaters on the table, and I kept going, oh, that color, that color, and I would walk away and look at other stuff, and I'd go back, but this color, and I wasn't looking for a cashmere sweater, I wasn't looking for anything. I'm in Talbot's now, in case you forgot. And this color just drew me in. I said, I don't care, I gotta get this one. I think it was 179 or something, but they had 30% off. Again, this is the extra small. This is my slip skirt from H&M, and I'm, this again, I'm just going to share it with you. I'm sure I already have. I don't like slip skirts because of this right here. I don't like this part of my body doing this. I like it to, you know, stop a sweater, so I need to get this in an oversized size that it can come down way down here. I know I'm stretching it a bit, but something that comes down there and kind of falls away. I just... To me, I don't know, people like those big wide. I don't like this on me, but I'm liking this on me though. <laughs> I could put up with it just for that. But it's got those seams, kind of like a bow hip seam. I got my own bow hips. I don't need the seams to do it too. But I put on the Ancline pumps again with this skirt, which is good. So a good classic pair of pumps Black pumps will take you far in the winter with your styles and colors and everything. So at least invest in a pair. These, you know, I could wear them to a wedding. I could wear them to church. I'm not going dancing in them, okay? <laughs> Who goes dancing anyway? But I want to show you. I was putting this together and I thought, hmm, handbags. So I went to my little, remember my holders from Amazon? If you didn't get these ladies, I'll list them again. You need to get some. But I thought about this bag, my ink bag that I got in the summer from Macy's. I haven't carried all summer. I didn't carry this bag. And I thought, wow, it's got the colors like this sweater. 
get that, brighten up a, a black outfit, pull that out with it. How about that, ladies? How about that? I saw this and I thought, oh, I get a chance to actually carry this one. So cool with this sweater. Imagine it with some winter white, though it has the white white here, but it's just the colors in it are so vibrant and finally something in my wardrobe that kind of matches. Well, it does match. But you could wear that with that because you know how we like to do a little pop of surprise color. And even though, you notice I got my favorite earrings on. I said is the, this gold will pick up gold jewelry. This stone has a little bit of pink in it if you look at it closely. So that was my reasoning. <laughs> I just love these earrings too. So remember, I can wear this one. Or, or, and this is stretching it, ladies. I pulled out my Kurt Geiger bag too. It has like a zillion colors in there. I love these bags that I put them in, but let me show you this one. This bag has a lot of yellows and oranges, but if you look at that lower part, it's pink and blue. Look at it next to this. Pink and blue. Wow. Yes. This really got, it just looks dressy with it because it's all, it's all silk. It's all silk. And with the sweater in this color, mm, 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 mm. One more time. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this week. This is the longest video I think I've ever made, but I wanted to show you all of the sweaters, all of the different colors and, and styles and, and levels of cashmere. This one feels good, but I'm telling you still, that one from Dillard's, that Antonio Milani one, felt just, just luscious on. These are comfortable. Yes, I do. I like this color. Until next week, ladies, leave a little kindness everywhere you go. Come back and see me, because I got some new things on the horizon for you and keep us together for this season. I kind of like it. I even this all this orange and stuff with this. I like it. I think I like the Kirk better than the other bag because of the silk skirt. See, with this silky skirt, the Kirk Geiger bag goes. And I know a couple of you bought this bag. It's a beautiful bag. Now we know how to wear it. Run the Talbots, get your sweater, pull out Kurt. Imagine if you had a skirt and one in the color here too. Ooh, this is just a color I like. I'm sorry, <coughs> mouth's a little dry. Been talking and I'm ready to eat me some breakfast and lunch. I've missed breakfast and lunch, but I have fun with you. So come back next week, please, please. And I, We'll see you on the runway, right? Our fashion, our runway. I love you. I appreciate you. I thank you. Bye-bye.